next lesson is solving systems of equations by graphing. When you're graphing a system, you're graphing two equations on the same coordinate grid. Then you look for the point that the two lines have in common. And the point that, that they have in common is going to be the point where they intersect. If the lines don't intersect, there's going to be no solution for the system. We found that when we were solving systems of equations using substitution, we sometimes found that we had no solution. So those would have been parallel lines. If the lines are on top of each other, there are going to be infinitely many solutions. We found ones like this when we were solving them algebraically also. That was when you got like 0 equals 0 or 4 equals 4 when you were finished solving your equation. We said there were infinitely many solutions. What that means is those two lines are exactly the same, so they share all the same solution points. If we look at this graph, we've graphed two lines. The line y equals 3x minus 4 and the line y equals negative 1 half x minus 1 half. We're looking for where those two lines intersect. So they intersect right here at the point 1, negative 1. This is their solution point. The solution point is the, two, is the point that's going to work in both equations. So if I take this ordered pair, 1, negative 1, and I plug it into both equations, it should work. Let's start with the green equation. y equals 3x minus 4. I'm going to plug in a 1 for my x and a negative 1 for y. So negative 1 equals 3 times 1 minus 4. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So that point does work in our first equation. If we plug it into the second equation, get negative 1 equals negative 1 half times x, which was 1, minus 1 half. We simplify. Negative 1 half minus 1 half is negative 1. It works for both equations. So the solution for that is 1, negative 1. This one we're going to graph the system and then identify the solution. Let's start with y equals x. This is where all of our x and y's are equal. Now we could graph it saying, this is like saying y equals x plus 0. So our y intercept is 0 and our slope is 1. But this is one of those graphs that we were going to remember, y equals x. That's the line where every x equals its y. So 0, 0 is definitely on there, but so is points like 2, 2, or negative 2, 2. That gives us a good number of points. Now we can graph that line. Let's make that line a little bit longer, because we don't ever know where they're going to intersect. When you're graphing systems of equations, you want to be sure that you get a straight line, so using a ruler is a good idea with these. The second one, 2x plus y equals 3. This one, we do want to solve for y. If we move the 2x over, minus 2x, minus 2x, we get y equals negative 2x plus 3. All right, our y-intercept is going to be 3, our slope, is negative 2. So we always start with a y-intercept first. We go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and we put our point right there on the y-axis. Our slope is negative 2, so remember that that's negative 2 over 1. So we can rise 2 and run 1 to the left, or we could go down 2 and run 1 to the right. Be sure that you get a negative line when you have a negative slope. You always want to double check that you graph that the correct way. We're going to connect those points. And we see where they intersect. Right here at the point 1, 1. This is the point that should work in both equations. Let's check the first one. Does it work here? If I plug it in, I get 1 equals 1. Is that a true statement? Sure. Then I plug it in the next one. Y is 1. Negative 2 times X is 1 plus 3. 
Negative 2 plus 3 is also 1. It does work in both equations. You can always check your answers on systems of equations by plugging it back in. It should work in both equations. If it only works in one, something was wrong. All right, the next one. X plus Y equals negative 4. We want to solve for Y. We'll subtract X. Y equals negative X minus 4. Our slope is negative 1. Our y-intercept is negative 4. Remember with your slope that there should be no x attached to that. It is just the number negative 1. We're going to graph our y-intercept first, negative 4. Take 3, 4, it's right down there. Our slope is negative 1, so we should have a negative line. We can either go up and to the left and get this point, or we could go down and to the right and get this point. It's going to give us our first line. Now, in order to solve the system, we need to solve the other equation. Move that 3x over. y equals negative 3x minus 6. Our slope is negative 3. Our y-intercept is negative 6. Start with our y-intercept first. Down 6. Plot our point. This time our slope is negative 3. We might want to put that negative 3 over 1. So we can go up 3 and left 1. There's our point of intersection. Down 3 and to the right 1 also works. we we'll go ahead and draw this line. Looks like it's off just a little bit. We can see our point of intersection. It jumps right out at us. Negative 1, negative 3. And if we plug that back into both of our equations, it'll work. 